Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly love reading. This is a general love reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Check your other planetary placements for additional insights and information. If this is not your story. And please do make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And share and comment. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Because I upload a lot. And, and you don't want to miss out. And you do, definitely don't want to miss out on my free reading Wednesdays. 7 p.m. Eastern Time. I... Do lot I go on live. I do a live stream of free mini readings. Okay, you have to get in the room early because the list does fill up pretty quickly, but you don't want to miss that either. Okay, and if you like a, a personal reading from me, um, do see the description box below. There's my email address and my website, and let's dig into your reading here. Okay. We have the Nine of Wands, King of Cups, Page of Cups, Ace of Swords, The Emperor. Okay, so we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, we have... Aries Leo Sagittarius, oh, I'm sorry, Emperor here is Aries. Um, we have the Five of Wands, Four of Cups, Knight of Wands, Aries Leo Sagittarian energy. We have the Six of Swords. Um, we have the Ten of Cups. Um, Justice card, Libra energy. Strength card, Leo energy. Ace of Wands. Five of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. You got a lot of aces. And Death card, Scorpio energy. Okay. Let's... Let's dig in here. Okay, it, it, what it feels like here is that somebody is has this emotional block up there. They are keeping their emotions under wrap. They're not really showing their emotions. They're trying to be calm, cool, and collected in a situation here that I, it's like they're pretending to be okay when they're not, if that makes sense to somebody. And they... They know that they need to do something. There's some action that needs to be taken. There's some changes that need to take place because the cups that you've been handed, um, they've, you've been handed empty cups. I feel like there may have been some broken promises here, Sagittarius. And you have another one yet coming and you're thinking more of the same thing here. There has to be a change. There has to be a change now, but you're trying to handle things in a um, diplomatic way. You're trying to be um, very sympathetic towards the situation because it feels like you're not happy with the way things have been going here. Okay. Um, you are hitting different milestones. I think you're making some progress here, but this is like a, um, nines aren't necessary completions because you're not at the completion state yet, but nines are more about progress and milestones. So you are definitely making some progress here. Um, it, and yet, Maybe they're trying again. I think that somebody is trying again with you. Saying, okay, I think I got it now. Give me another chance here. Let's get on the right path here. We there is a we, we share a lot of passions here. Let's forget about all the broken chalices, everything that that had gone wrong. Let's forget about the loss. We still have something here. There's still something behind us. Let's, let's grab those cups and let's run with it. And it happens to be the two of cups here. So, you know, um, somebody's saying to you, we are a soulmate team. We are a soulmate connection. Um, I know that you, maybe what I've been giving hasn't been enough, but here I'm trying again. That's the energy that I am getting here um, that has been happening here. And then 
you're painting, it's like they are painting a picture. They're trying to paint the perfect picture. They're trying to communicate with you. I think they're trying to do this in creative ways here. And they are looking for a brand new start. They're looking for victory. They're trying to be totally honest with you and open here. Um, they want to move past this. They want to move past the troubles, past the stormy waters here. And move into the Ten of Cups energy here of the happiness and blissfulness. So I do feel like somebody is really trying to step up, the, up to the plate and trying to make an effort here for you, Sagittarius. Uh, moving forward here, we have the Emperor here, Aries energy. That is like, I, I feel that your energy actually, Sag, that you are setting your boundaries. And you are saying, okay, if we're going to do this again, we got to do this by the book. This is how things are going to be done. You are mapping out a plan here. Okay, a plan of action here. Uh, a plan of changes. This is this is what you you are telling this your person what you expect from them. Okay, and with the five of wands here, it's like you are saying you're not going to argue with me. You're not going to put up a fight. Okay, these challenges are going to end. This blockage is going to end. You are there is a change that has to take place here. We have to restore balance. We have to, I, I you're telling them, Sachet, I have to make sure that I am on the right path here, that I'm not making a mistake, that I'm not going to be a fool and try to fix something that can't be fixed. Okay. He says that uh, it's like, you're telling them that you expect to see physical proof of physical proof that they're on a new path, that they are transforming, that they are changing here. Okay. Um, with a strength card, it is about having that inner strength to endure. You're ha you are trying to muster up this willpower to try to keep this going and try to give them a fighting chance. You don't want this. You really don't want it to end. Even though we have the death card here, Scorpio energy. But I'm feeling this is more of a transformation, a big change, a big turning the page, if you will, of this relationship, of this connection here. Okay, blank blank page. Let's start writing. Let's start writing our destiny here. But it has to be done in a in the way that I am dictating, you know, you're, you're turning the page, you're, you're writing new plans here, a new direction here. Okay. And so I feel like that you, you are willing to give them another chance at the second start here, but they are going to have to prove themselves is what I'm getting. So let's get, um, let's get some clarifiers here. shuffling the wrong deck spear just i almost put the used the same deck and i don't want the same deck uh, i did that in one of the other rings um i forget which one it was part of the clarifiers i did lay down that deck and part of it this deck and it was, but it worked out Cla sh please clarify the cards that's on the table please for sagittarius for this upcoming week Dear spirit, dear angel guide, angels, spirit guides, clarify the cards that are on the table, please. What does Sagittarius need to know? Sometimes when we do the clarification cards, sometimes other messages come out, even for another group of people. Well, let's see here. Okay, we have Ace of Swords again with the um, with the Nine of Wands. You know, this is victory over adversity here um you're, ha you're you're seeing some victory we have the strength card yeah somebody's showing some mighty willpower here some mighty strength to hold back it's like sagittarius i feel like you want to just totally explode you, you i mean you just you want to let it out but you are holding some restraint you're holding things in um you see things with very much with clarity here and you know what you want what you don't want and you see the offer that is coming in here um, with the sun card. They're, they're trying to offer you a new start. They want to they want to nourish this connection. They want to fix this connection. They want to they want healing to take place. They want that happiness back. Okay. And nine of wands or nine of swords with the knight of wands. However, you are still worried about us. It's like you see it's you, you see things with clarity. You, and I think. In the past, you were really worried about this. You were, it caused so much anxiety that you were ready to just walk away from this all, go on a new path. 
but they're coming yet back again with an apology. Let's fix this. I want to heal this. I'm going to change. Okay. Um, King of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands. They want to offer, I think they're coming with you to offer passion and stability. They want the stability. They want the family. This is the family man. This is somebody who's very practical, down to earth, um, hard worker who has worked very hard and gained a lot of experience. And I feel as though that somebody's using their knowledge as be, uh, and their learning experiences as they head on to this new path. And then we have the, um, the Queen of Swords with the, um, with the Five of Cups. Uh, so we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. And this is about somebody, again, this is seeing things clearly somebody um trying to take the emotions out of things there i think things logically and and refocus somebody's refocusing their energy okay somebody is like very analytical and you're analyzing this situation and being patient i feel like buying time as you analyze the bits and pieces you're like connecting the dots here because you definitely have seen a very clear vision where things are headed and you know that things have to change here okay um page of cups and the ace of wands so we've got the ace of wands twice this is a growth this is a, a spiritual connection a new seed that is planted here okay um and they want to this is like a spark lit so they're trying to light that spark again to light that fire it feels like the fire may have been dimmed, but they're trying to get it lit up again. You may be trying to as well. Um, the Ace of Swords, um, got the Ace of Swords twice here, so it is definitely truth being spoken here. I think they're speaking their truth. They're, they're speaking about a new start. The Ace is a new path, okay? And a new path to success is what they're looking for. Okay, I gotta point this out. Here we have the Ace of Wands with the Nine of, or Ace of Swords with the Nine of Wands. We have the eight, Ace of Swords with the Nine of Wands here too. So it's coming up here twice. So this is very important here. This is about um, the truth coming out and persevering, dealing with the truth and overcoming it is what I'm getting. It feels like that you hit a new milestone. It feels like when I say a milestone, it's a new point in time. Something I... As crazy as it sounds, it sounds like a success because somebody is being finally, I'm going to say finally being open and honest with you. Um, Six of Swords with the Two of Wands. It's like the, this is the pivotal point here. You are at the pivotal point, the, and which is do you cross over the threshold and move forward with this person and try again, give them another chance? It's like you have, you're in the middle of two decisions. You're at that crossroads of either moving forward in a new direction and starting over or, at, or being by, and being by yourself for a while and finding contentment and love someplace else. Or are you going to stick this out and try to work this out here? Uh, we have the five of cups here because you're having this issue about getting past the hurt and pain. Okay. Getting past um, the disappointment okay and this feels like a challenge here and you're having so many obstacles of getting to that ten of cups of getting that to that ultimate happiness with this person here and then we have um the chariot you know this is definitely progression forward towards your ten of cups okay whatever you decide you are definitely moving towards this ten of cups you are moving towards happiness and contentment but I feel like the, you, the, you're at the crossroads. The decision is, fine, is basically yours. But over here in the future, I'm leaning towards the, the thought of, for those of you, I think that this could, the same storyline could be applied to both. Uh, uh, what I mean is that when I originally said, you know, having a plan, setting your boundaries, not dealing with competition, not dealing with people coming up against you with your wishes and, and dreams, with how you want your household run, that you want it done the right way, you want it done honestly, that, and you're, and having the willpower to push forward and make things happen for you. 
and having that inner power to starting on a new path and invoking change. Okay, evoking a transformation here. That could be applied to a new relationship. If you're so, anybody's entering into a new relationship, there you go. You're setting new standards for future relationships moving forward. For others of you, you this is about trying to give that person a chance and you mapping it out and saying, this is what I expect. Um, we have the Ace of Cups with the Emperor. So this is like, I think you're doing it in a loving way. I think you're doing it from your heart, saying, from your heart space, you are saying, I love you, but if this is going to work, this is what's going to have to happen. These are the changes that are going to have to be made. Or else, you know, we are going to have to just sever our ties and move it on in other directions. Or, or part our separate ways. And you're no longer going to accept competition. Uh, for some of you, they may have been chatting with other people that you view it as competition in this connection. But this is definitely a decision. Somebody's got to make a decision in this connection. And again, I'm getting soulmate connection here. Um, this is, I'm not sure how established this connection is because twos are a low number. Yes, it's a divine number. It's duality. It's two people coming together. But twos are also about decision and choices here. So... Um, for some of you, you may have multiple options open to you, but you're choosing to give them another chance. But you are, you are definitely um, raising the bar. You are definitely saying this is what needs to happen here. And we have the Magician here with the Justice card. Very powerful energy. This is a master. This is somebody who has learned. This is a, you may even be a teacher. But I think that you have learned your lessons from this connection here of what not to accept. And you and um, I'm feeling a balancing act here in the magician, having the tools and resources in order to restore balance and to manifest the happiness that you well deserve in your life. And you are doing that. And you are weighing your options. I, I see that very strongly here. You are weighing this out even into this um, coming week. Um, but I think by the end of the week, there is definitely some kind of transformation that is going to occur. I think, uh, well, we will get to more on that. Okay, we have the, the moon with the strength card. Um, this is having strength to get past and get over your fears here. Getting over the unknown, getting over the hidden. You're not sure where, what, where your roads are leading. There's even a road forward, okay? And if you move forward, you're not show, sure where that is going and it's called creating this year and i think this is having the willpower and the courage Cur i see the line i'm seeing courage here okay having the courage to face those fears face your shadow side and and have a little bit of faith in move, moving forward and trying to start a brand new path with your person um or a new path in general here we have um here we have um virgo energy and we and Let's see. And this is about, you know, you, you you may have gone within. You may need some time to yourself in the future to figure out this path here. Okay. So you might take, I again, I see you taking a step back from the situation. Um, needing some time to think. Five of Swords. And, you know... I think that no matter what direction you go in, I feel there is going to be success. You are going to win no matter what. And even if there is a price, I feel like the victory in this and the transformation, there is a price attack. attack. It's like something has to be given up or released. Okay. Um, I feel as though that you may be, that regardless, if you end this connection and move forward, there's still a sense of loss because you're losing this connection. If you stay in this connection, there may be a sense of loss too because there might be a choice here. There might be opportunities that you have to pass up here. We've got judgment on here, reconciliation. So I feel as though that I think you are heading in the direction of reconciliation with this person of yours. Uh, I wish you the best on this. Uh, they are. I do feel a sense that they are putting a sincere effort into change. Okay? Um, I feel as though that 
They definitely want a second chance. I think there is a second chance here, a second chance for love and happiness. But the flip side of the coin is, I think you're going to find that regardless, whether you stay with this person or you move forward. That's where the toughest decision is. Because you're going to find love regardless, Sagittarius. Regardless. But I think that you are you need to retreat within a little bit and really trust your inner wisdom and trust your inner guidance here. Okay. I think that the Hermit is saying that you have to do just that. Ignore what everybody else is saying. And kind of like isolating yourself a bit so that you can think this through. Okay, let's get some Romance Angel cards. That's it from the Romance Angels. Okay. Finances and career and passion. You know, I noticed that there was a lack of pentacles. So I, there's only a couple pentacles in this whole spread. Uh, you know, money might be an issue that might be causing some of the problems where somebody's not feeling comfortable. Uh, there may be some eth unethical things done with money. Retreat and passion. Okay, I think you need to retreat from this. Um, somebody may even be so involved in their career while somebody else feels neglected. Um, so you might be working very hard for your money in some instances while the other person's spending it. Um, but somehow finances and career are playing a role here. Um, but I feel as though there is a need to retreat, just like I said here, a pull back to really think things through, to decide what path you want to go on. I see positive energy thus far, regardless what path you take. Um, but with regard and positive and at the same time, it's like a bittersweet victory. Because whatever path you take, and only you know how this, re this resonates, it feels like there's something lost, something that has to be given up. Okay? Um... But it is going to bring you a new sense of passion in your connections. Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to get one more Oracle card and call it a read. Okay. One of the other signs got this sign. A sacred union. So you might even be married. But I also already mentioned that there could be a soulmate connection here. Honor and treasure your relationship for is truly sacred. Um, there's no relationship out there that's perfect. We're individuals. Everybody has their good side to them. Everybody also has their faults, their flaws. Everybody has flaws. But it's a matter on how you deal with them flaws. But this feels, this definitely feels like a sacred union, guys. Um, and Spirit pointed one other thing out. Somebody may need to, maybe the loss is swallowing your pride, pride and give them, giving them another chance. Okay, this is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, and I love you all, and I will see you in the next video. Blessed be.